Hey everybody, Dan Dickerson at F3 here. In today's video, we're gonna show you how we're gonna attach these to this. But what are those ends you might ask? Well, first let's start with our modular connector. The modular connector is gonna be a clear piece of acrylic that we'll insert the cable into with a color coded setting. that will allow us to plug this cable into data devices and have it connect to a network or the internet. The next connection we'll talk about is the keystone jack or the receiver connection. These particular connections you will typically see inside of a wall plate. It's important to know how to set these up as you may have to take these out of a wall from time to time in order to do some troubleshooting. We're gonna need two pieces of equipment to help us succeed in this job. First is gonna be our set of RJ45 crimpers. These will be equipped with an RJ45 connection. This is for data connections. An RJ11 connection, which will be used typically for telephones. Then you'll have your cutters here to allow you to cut off the cable and then strip the sheathing away. The next tool we're going to utilize is a punch down tool. It's important to note that this tool has two edges as you can see, one which will have a cutting edge and then just a standard edge. Once we've stripped the sheathing back, we'll go ahead and pull it off the cable. The horse hairs here are used to rip the cord a little bit further and you'll have your four pairs. There's an orange, white, orange pair, a green, white, green pair, a white, brown, brown pair, and a white, blue, blue pair. This little plastic piecing here is simply used to keep the cords rigid so that it's able to go through corners and such with ease. We're gonna go ahead and trim that off and then we're gonna take our pairs. Once we've pulled back the sheathing of our cable, trimmed out the plastic and cut the horsehair rip cord, we're gonna go ahead and line up our cable in the color code as follows. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, and white, brown, brown. You may notice it's a little tricky to get these cables to keep straight. So what I usually do is these are copper, is just move them left to right, heat them up a little bit, helps make them more malleable so that you can move them around. Then what we're gonna do is take the cutting edge of our crimper tool and simply cut this edge. Doing this will give us a nice, even, flush connection for our modular adapter. Once we perform that cut, we are then going to take the cord paying close attention to the cable channels to make sure that the cables do not get mashed or crossed as we insert. You'll note that there's a little clip right at the bottom here. We wanna make sure that our cable actually hits. You'll notice that it makes an indentation here. The idea is that this is going to grab the cable and prevent it from being pulled out at the end. Once this is complete, grab your RJ45 end, simply press in and click. You will notice the click will usually occur and you'll see that your indentation here has fully pressed through. Congratulations on making a modular termination on a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. 